I think in terms of how we rode that first week, I think the, the team really had me in the first week of a Grand Tour is generally really, of the, of the Tour especially, is really sketchy, really dangerous um, with all the crashes and everyone wanting to be at the front. But um, thankfully, I think with the team I had, I was, I was where I needed to be and never got caught behind any crashes. It just occurred to me as we were coming into the last sort of few hundred meters over the top of the climb that n none of us had really, there'd been a few attacks on the climb, but none of us had really managed to, to distance each other going up there. That was the descent down to Luchon. I had a 54 chain ring on and I, I just thought, well, what's the worst thing I, that could happen here? They could, they could come after me and they catch me and we finish all together. So I'm going to give it a go over the top and, and see see if I can catch him off guard and it was just it's just amazing to hear on the radio you hear Sergio and Nico Portal back in the car just saying go 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 Chris you've got a gap keep going keep going and that gap only, only grew and it was just it felt felt amazing I'd, I'd been practicing a lot in training uh, just more just just riding with teammates and you start racing each other down as a scent and you, you want to get more and more aero and go faster I guess and for me, I'd found that position uh, every time it worked. I wasn't necessarily planning on using it in the, in the race, but uh, once I found myself out front, I just thought, well, this is going to be the quickest way for me to, to get down. My, I hurt my back quite, quite badly in that crash up on Von 2. And so certainly getting into that time trial position the next day, I, I felt it. But it was a, it was a big, big knock. Big knock, uh, windy time trial. I knew the course well. It's it's only a few hours away from from here in the south of France. So so I drove uh, drove drove there a couple of times to go and see the route and ride it and really get get to know it well. So that was that was important. I think I, I did get the feeling that from that point uh, my rivals were more concerned about podium positions. Um, I think my my advantage had already gone over three minutes to to second place at, at that stage and I think I think then it was really more of a battle. Certainly my it didn't stop my rivals from trying but I think between them there was probably more of a battle going on than necessarily with me. The, the second I went down I just I wanted to get back up again and just just have that reassurance that there was nothing broken. Uh, no no sort of sore points that would hold me back going forward. I mean it would be It'd be horrific to, to end up with a broken collarbone being in that position or something like that that would put me out of the race so close to so close to getting to Paris. Um, so yeah, when I went down, it, it was it was pretty scary. But uh, thankfully, obviously, with with my teammates around and jumping onto G's bike straight away, um, that made it a lot easier. It's still it was just it's just such a. It's such a special feeling. You feel as if you're this little group of guys and you've, you've conquered something that's, that's, that's massive. And so many, once you get to Paris, you almost, you're, you're overwhelmed with the number of people who are there and just the, the whole hype of it all. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty, pretty unique feeling.